Good morning and happy Thursday. It is Thursday, January 21st, and here are your quick announcements. Announcement number one, book orders. If you are interested in uh, turning in a book order form, turn it in by tomorrow. All right. Now that leads me into uh, announcement number two. Uh, I'm going to be gone tomorrow. My son it has a doctor's appointment, uh, just his yearly checkup, um, and he's got to get shots. No fun. But, um, so I'm going to be gone tomorrow. You will have a substitute. I don't know who the substitute is, um, but I expect you to be on your absolute best behavior. So if you've got book order money, um, there will be an envelope that the uh, substitute will put the money in. All right. Announcement number two. Okay. Um, since I'm going to be gone tomorrow, uh, I'm just going to tell you now, there will also be an announcement video tomorrow for you to watch when you get into the classroom, but all day tomorrow, you're gonna to be working on your scripts and your research for your public service announcements. All right, announcement number three, you probably heard it on the morning announcements, but I am the sponsor of the Cyclone Academy Club. Um, last semester, it was a club during club time, um, but this semester, we're moving it to after school so more people can be involved in it. So you, if you are interested in a leadership organization or helping make SFT just an amazing place to go to school, um, definitely check it out. Uh, the first meeting is going to be on Tuesday at 3.15. It's going to be 3.15 to 4 o'clock. Um, so on Tuesday, if you're interested, definitely check it out. All right. Today, we are working on our public service announcements and our research. You're going to notice that there are some new items posted on Google Classroom. Okay. There's a page for you to do some research uh, or to, to post links to help your classmates out. If you find a really great resource okay, and it's all about why exotic animals should not be owned or why they should be owned or you found a really great article about why zoos are really good or why we need to save the rhino population or we need to save this animal or that animal, post a link to that on that Google Doc. Everybody in the class is going to be able to view and add to that Google Doc. Okay, so if you're, and if on the flip side, if you're stuck and don't know a good resource to research, go on the Google Doc. Okay, and look, because that'll be a great resource. I'm also posting some links to some things I found on there uh, that you might find interesting. Okay, as you're doing your research, make sure you're double checking that it's a reliable source. I had a few people. Uh, go to the pros and cons site, which is a cool site. It gives you some great ideas for reasons. However, sites like that, it's just random people posting their views on zoos. That is not a site for evidence. Evidence is like numbers and statistics and facts. Okay, That's for reasons, but that'd be like me saying, well, according to uh, Luke, the uh, zoos are... are uh, not good for animals. Or according to um, Dinesha, zoos are really great for animals and they're all kinds of cute and cuddly animals that should be owned, especially Justin Bieber's uh, pet monkey. Obviously he takes good care of his pet monkey because he's Justin Bieber and that's just what he does. So make sure you are um, looking at that resource because just asking those people wouldn't be a reliable source. But if, if it was from a expert in zoos or uh, someone who works at a zoo or someone who works at a wildlife reserve or an organization that helps prevent animal cruelty, those would all be good, reliable sources. All right, now, your bell work today is a trick. It's a trick bell work question because I need to see who is actually following directions and watching the announcements video. So what you are going to do right now, if you are at the end of this video and you've watched it all the way through, on your bell work question, you are going to write, I am awesome. That's all you're going to write. Do not answer what's on the screen. Because what I'm going to know is the people who wrote, I am awesome, watch this entire video like they're supposed to. The people who didn't watch the entire video are going to answer a question and they're going to be typing and typing and typing. You can just, don't tell them, just smile to yourself, <laughs> suckers, okay? because I wanna see who's actually watching these videos. These are important, okay? These tell you all the information for the class, for the day. So, right now, write I am awesome on your paper, on your bell work, and then you can either start on your PSA or read quietly. Until next time, be awesome.